using Google Calendar's Appointment Slots feature in the University of Delaware Apps environment. Appointment slots are blocks of time you set aside to allow others to self-schedule meetings with you. Examples are office hours, advising appointments, or interviews. Separate Google Calendars can be created to allow self-scheduling of spaces, such as conference rooms, labs, or studios. There are two role types. Hosts create the appointment slots. Faculty, advisors, project coordinators, or employees fall in that category. Attendees self-schedule meetings within designated date, time blocks, appointment slots, and they can be students, team members, or candidates. This video illustrates the process from both perspectives. The same person may be host of appointments on one calendar and be an attendee on another. So they may host their own office hours, yet be an attendee for a departmental conference room. To access the University of Delaware Google Calendar, go to gcal.udel.edu. Log in with your CAS username and password. Click and drag to select a block of time. Here it's 1 to 3 p.m. Switch from event to appointment slots. Title your event. Here it's office hours. There's a lot going on in this screen, so we have numbered things for you and I'm going to step through it one through seven. So number one, your calendar name. Remember, you can have multiple Google calendars, so make sure that you have the correct calendar selected. If not, switch it here. Two, set the time block. Here we've chosen Tuesdays and Thursdays for a total of 26 occurrences. That means that this one event is going to take care of office hours for the entire semester. Type. Decide how long each block of time within your appointment slot will be. It can be anywhere from 5 to 60 minutes. Note the location of the appointments. Put it here so that the attendees will know where to meet you. Description. Consider adding some extra information. Six. This is the rather lengthy URL that you'll be distributing, and I'll be talking about some ways that you can mask that. And seven, up at the top is the Save button. Be sure to click Save to add the appointment slots to your calendar. And here they are. They appear right next to all of your regular events and appointments. Now, distribute the appointment link. You can do it in several ways, including sending in a targeted group email, post it on the web, or via a web content tool link in your Sakai course or project. Attendees who have already signed into Google Apps at UD when they click the link that you've sent them have immediate access to your appointment slots and it looks like this. Notice that they can't see any of your other appointments, just your reservation for office hours. A simple click by them reserves the appointment on their calendar and yours. Here, Delaware has reserved one o'clock on Tuesday 9-11. The attendees may cancel their existing appointment or reserve more than one slot for extended discussions. Here, Delaware has chosen 2.30 to 3 o'clock as well to meet with you. She double-checked her schedule and realized that 1 o'clock was not a good time for her, so she removed that. Updated appointments appear on both the host and the attendees calendar at the same time. When another attendee visits the calendar, only unscheduled appointment slots will appear. Here, Newton Arc visited the calendar. Notice the 2.30 to 3 o'clock slot is not even visible because Delaware has that reserved. But he can take the 1 o'clock slot because it's become available. Simply clicking on it reserves it for both of you. Here's what the appointment slots look for, like from the host's point of view. I've switched the view to the day view rather than the week view of the Google Calendar so you can see more detail. And you can see that within your appointment slot time on 9-11, Newton is coming in at 1 and Della will be by at 2.30. All appointment slots posted to a Google Calendar are available from the same link. So on one calendar you may have advising hours on Fridays from 9 to 11 all year round. 
You may have your E110 office hours Monday and Wednesday, 1 to 3.30 p.m. all semester. And you might have search committee interviews Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for two weeks. They will all be available using the same appointment slots link. So it's very important that you name your appointment slots appropriately. But don't forget, you can make additional Google Calendars if you need to, to schedule the video conference room or for specific tasks. An important note about signing in to Google Apps. Anyone with a Google account and your appointment calendar link may self-schedule. That means that someone not signed into Google Apps with a Google Gmail account could actually make a reservation. The workflow for UD viewers not signed into Google Apps at UD before they click the appointment calendar link is slightly different. And this situation occurs more often than you may think. It's usually when the link is accessed from an external email account or the link is posted on a web page. If the attendee is not signed into Google Apps before they click your link, they're directed to the public Google Calendar sign-on page. But it's easy to get to the UD Apps page. Simply have them type in the complete udal.edu email address, leave the password blank, and click the blue sign-in button. They'll be directed to this familiar Google Apps at UD page where they can sign in using their udalnet ID and password and go directly to your appointment calendar. If you have any questions, we're here to help. If you're a University of Delaware staff or student, please contact the IT Support Center at consult at udel.edu. If you're a University of Delaware faculty member, please contact Academic Technology Services at ats-info at udel.edu.